What's up everyone? I am leaving Lowe's, um, heading to Publix, short drive. Um, yeah, um, so anyway, I was just paying attention to those people walking out. Um, so short drive to Publix coming up. Uh, very jerky stopping here. Car needs to pull up so I can see. Um, so actually, what? Interesting. It changed my route. So, going to Publix, I was going to say something about the route. Um, so, yeah, this is the one I picked. The reason that this is exciting to me, shouldn't be, is I did not get a map update. Um, I didn't get a new map update, but look, I've, I've said this a hundred times that the car would not route me on this road because it doesn't think this bridge exists, but now it's routing me down this road with, uh, no new update. So the map data was not updated, um, but somehow it knows it can go down this road now, this bridge. It's been there for seven years, and that's, I've complained about this for a long time because seven plus years since that bridge was finished and the car's map data didn't think it existed. But now it does, without an update. So uh, that's, to me, super cool and uh, great news. So I don't know, I don't know how they did that. If there's a... Uh, some Tesla mapping going on? Um, if so, that's a huge deal. Um, I, I was actually just arguing with someone about how awful it is that my map data is outdated and it causes so many problems. But if Tesla is finally doing some of their own data collection for maps and fixing some of these things on their own, then we're going to see a lot of things improved in this area. So this is the first time in almost two years that my car has routed me where it should here, across, down this road, across this bridge, and onto Publix. So that's excellent. Very happy about that. Okay, so this is a perfect example of what it should do at the end of my road. It pulls out of that intersection immediately into the left lane because it knows way up here through these two lights, I'm going to be making a left turn. Now, if it can do that at this spot, then why can't it do it in a spot where it's an immediate left as soon as you turn right? So, uh, I've seen, you know, a lot of people argue about, well, it's supposed to turn into the right lane and then get over into the left lane. So that's correct. But it, it doesn't do it right there. Um, so why can't it just get in the left lane immediately off of my road?
So my car pulled up, a uh, good, you know, straight shot. Unlike sometimes in the past when it would try to angle itself here, which there's no room. You can see how close these cars are. Um, I pulled up just a little past the line to wait uh, to be able to make this left turn. And as soon as this car turns, it should go. Okay, and it didn't. I'm really surprised. Um, so after this one, nope. All right, so that traffic, that big truck was going to turn right and then they got over in the left lane. No one knows what they're doing. See, look, what is up with these people? All right, so the, the turn was a little jerky there. Um, I don't know why it didn't go in a couple of those gaps, even after I tapped the accelerator. Um, Sorry, it, it won't turn in, into this parking lot, so I had to disengage. Um, I tapped the accelerator and it wouldn't go. So, not sure what's up with that. All right. So, yeah, anyway, the the map data, that, that is awesome. I, I am so excited that that is fixed. And now I want to go out and try more places where the map data sucked uh, to see if it's better. Um, yeah, overall, that was a, you know, I mean, it was really short. Uh, but it was a good drive. It did some uh, great things. Um, Probably some improvement on that left turn at the light. Uh, there were a couple gaps where it easily could have made the turn, and it has before. It, it usually would jump, you know, in the gap. It would make the turn the first chance it got, uh, but seems more cautious this time. It just waited, even after I tapped the accelerator. Um, but yeah, thanks a lot for watching this one, and I'll see you on the next one.